Solar Soul. Beam 2-0 to make losers. Ace Attorney over Delta Force 2-0 oh, to make top eight losers. Uh, Dylan waiting on the loser of this match, and Silvio versus uh, Diamond. I, I, don't I know heard I heard his name earlier in the venue. I don't know who he is though. But yep. Yeah. But I mean, here we go. Oh, okay. So juggling. Obviously, we've seen that with some very good combos and the disjoint. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is just a, a tough matchup. Disjoints in general can be can be tough for a lot of characters. Especially someone like Peach, who obviously has to get, like, kind of close to get anything started. Like, you need, like, a close down tilt to get all this percent. And that turnaround up, he sweet spotted and just going to take the stock. So, yeah. Not a terrible position for player four. Yeah, one thing that's going to be crucial is uh, the edge guarding as usual. I mean, if player four or stretch with him just like dipping down and getting that up, he, if either one of them are able to take advantage of like you know their offstage position like that, yep. they're gonna oh, like Mr. Get Saturn one. just getting thrown off stage. Yeah, <laughs> completely ignored. Yeah. But yeah, stretch. All right, pushing the advantage. I guess Stretch has like stronger kill moves if if something uh, slips up, so maybe doesn't even want to get give the potential of getting kill broken to Stretch. And there you go. Yeah, there's the Shield Breaker coming out. Uh, one thing that Stretch is doing is using like just the first uh, hit of side B. Yeah, yeah. Dead yeah. Dead. Oh, the horizontal hitbox coming through there for Stretch. Yeah, optimal punish on that get up attack. Usually you see players grab it, but uh, a lot of characters could smash tech out of shield on getup attack. It's very minus on shield, and Stretch gonna get that up smash, so. Yeah, now you see the Stretch letting player four come to him. Ooh, unsafe dash attack, but player four going for a rising air instead of possibly a grab or a more guaranteed punish. Oh, looking for counter there. And yeah, there's the dancing blade. So off stage yet again, stretch coming through with these edge guards so far. Nice high side B from player four because if he went low, he was getting backered or countered and probably losing this, the game for it. But here we go. And another shield breaker. Oh, the up B. Turn around up B. Yeah. No float. All right. Well, back on stage and with center stage. Stretch being very patient in the corner there. Just like empty hopping with the space given. That was such a nice confirm. Yeah. Yeah. Single hit there into up smash. Yeah. And you even see player four, he's like, okay. Yeah. Like, you got it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so stre a stretch looking pretty solid right now overall. Yeah. Just edge guarding, you know, punish game. He just, he just knows this. Yeah. Because. It's one thing to know your confirms, but hitting it in an actual game and reacting to like getting the first hit and reacting and having enough time to hit confirm it, that's like another thing. Like his, his awareness to know like, all right, I got the Nair one, G gonna straight go for the up smash because that was so fast. Like he knew. Yeah. Yeah, it was like an instant dash, but now going to Smashville. So uh, just gonna have one platform to play around. And yeah, player four just trying to float. Yep. And that's uh, one thing that Lucina does have against Peach. Um, you you can like risky, but you could up B when Peach is getting her combo started because it is uh, intangible or invincible on frame one. So. All right. Player four has stretch in the corner, but single hit a dancing blade off of ledge too. Yeah, to get that falling up air. Yeah, that's that's one thing that player four has not really punished this entire set. All right, yeah, that that's not a guaranteed punish. Yeah. So stretch trying to call maybe the second option after that bear, but player four oh, has a stitch counter. Right, that counter actually would have exploded him. Yeah, counters are very strong in this game. Yeah, especially countering something like a Stitch. Yeah, like the stock is gone after that, but... All right, run off fair, gonna take the first stock, but obviously in in death percent, uh, could keep it relatively competitive if he gets the stock. All right. Has him off stage. All right, avoiding the turnip. 
All right, good call on the on the back here to get that ledge roll. Yeah, reading the roll, and uh, yeah, I mean, player four uh, just trying to use the turnips so far, and Stretch doing a good job of avoiding the turnips while off stage. Um, I think that's definitely a crucial part uh, of the disadvantage state. But gonna get this combo started. Yep, cutting it, cutting it short because he knows uh, he doesn't want to take the risk of like. Oh, what if he up -ease? But then if Stretch doesn't up -ease, then his, his advantage is over anyways. Oh. Okay, so, yeah, Shield Break not going to work. I'll yeah. pull Shield, but... The Shield very low, so that up -ease, even if he tried to Shield the up -ease, it would have just poked. Yeah, gets a grab here. Back throw, off stage. P4 excels in ledge trapping and keeping people in the corner. Yeah, and you're seeing it here, just like running back and forth, using the float cancels, and just a... Uh, Barrage nice, no of jump. forward airs and back airs. Oh, a little bit of an overextension there. Down air to up smash. Not gonna uh, kill. P4 is off stage. He has a side B. He has a jump. He has a float. All right, oh, just no. gonna go for. Oh. And he's the master at, at drifting with up B. <laughs> I swear he never gets punished for it. Yeah, somehow with literally no other options left, coming back to the stage and has stretch at 154 now. Just one solid hit left to take the stock. For a forward smash. And yeah, Stretch is trying to. Oh! Caught with the jump. Trying to get back onto the ground. But, I mean, this is still anyone's game. Using the turnip, even. So Stretch really. Yeah. Just trying to close this out. No one's in risk of really dying to anything, like, in straight neutral right now, because. Maybe like a Lucina forward smash by the edge will do it, but like as long as P4 avoids that, like it's still a very, very close game. And another uh, first hit dancing blade. Stretch looking for the jab reset. And again, has player four off stage. Struggled quite a bit. All right. Gonna get back on. And there it is again. The single hit Nair into up smash. Gonna confirm both games, and yeah. they're both laughing it off, so. Yeah. But yeah, that's gonna be uh, Stretch moving on. So, yeah, and I feel like player four had to do a little bit of a better job, like covering that jump side B from ledge, because he basically stalled with jump side B, then landed with Nair, and then converted into up smash. And I feel like 